Yes, boys, back on the Tommy C hype. We are at the Cycle Addicts of Rochdale, Town Central, and we are picking something pretty special up today. I'll show you what it is soon, but for now, follow me and let's take a tour around this bad boy crib here. Yeah? <laughs> for you. So, have you, do you know about the modes? And not a clue. So, you start off basically as you start. I just just go into it's a pretty to it's, yeah, it's a strong mode to be in, but it's not too crazy because if you go into EMTB, that's almost like a dynamic mode. So that'll go into turbo or eco depending on how much power you're putting oh, right, on the pedals. Okay. It's a good size this as well, yeah. isn't it? I was thinking size is it? It's a large. It's a bit too big for me, but I buy a large demo back. So See, if I was going to get a size, I'd probably like... Yeah. I didn't know what to expect when you said I can obviously come and ride one. I was like... I mean, it's so sick, that. What do they retail it's at mental. then? That, five, four. Is that like one of the best ones out there at the minute now, would you say? Well, they do. Because I, I just felt the weight of it, and it's not like crazy heavy either, is it? No, Scott bikes aren't really heavy. They use pretty good materials, so they're not really... They do make them well. But yeah, it's all right, it's a decent weight. They do They do this in the tuned version, which is a carbon frame, full factory suspension, but to be honest, I don't think you really need to blow your mind when you're buying an e-bike. You want no. something that's got good forks, 36s at least, four pop brakes. The transmission you're going to wear out, so yeah, so makes more sense to get something that's a bit cheaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people jump on them and like, right, so I'm going to make it go. Like, I'm just <laughs> pedaling. It's a little bit of slip in one gear, but it seems to have sorted itself out. Oh, you oh, it'll go. <laughs> well, literally. Oh my god, that is crazy. Power on your feet. <laughs> it's like no effort as well, isn't it? That's what I mean in turbo. Once you, once you go out and have a play around with it, it'll all start making more sense. But wow. anyone who enjoys riding a bike will enjoy an e-bike as long as they ride a good one. Because would you say this is like up there with the good ones? I, yeah, I've I've tested about eight or nine. And it's just, I mean, you could probably tune the suspension on the bad ones to feel yeah, better, yeah. but out the factory. Do you mind me messing about with the rebound? Is that no, right? No, just you just count the clips just do and whatever you want to do. Sweet, man. I run it quite fast, mate. Yeah, it doesn't feel too bad, to be fair. Probably I run it slower on the back, but I run quite fast forks. Because around here, it's a lot of old quarry tracks and chattery. So when you you slow them down, it just just feels a bit. I can't believe how like the sizing. Because I, I was I always said to the boys if I was going to get an e-bike, I'd get something slightly smaller. <laughs> Oh man. Even like Eco's not bad, is it? Yeah. Yes boys, back on the Tommy C hype. Or should I say, yes people, back on the Tommy C hype. We are out here on the local again. Got this piece with me, as you've probably seen from the intro. I am on this bike for the weekend and I couldn't be more stoked. So I'm gonna try and give you my perspective of what this bike is like and whether you should go and buy one. So let's just have a quick look at her before we uh, get going up this hill. So as you can see, we are on the Scott Genius. Not sure on the model. Pretty rubbish with, uh, with that on any bike, to be fair. I know it's powerful, and I know that it goes uphill very, very fast, and it actually makes me laugh how fast you can go uphill. So here she is. She's a size large, so pretty perfect for me. So I'm in... Uh, so I'm in eco mode there. Eco mode's basically just like pedaling a normal bike with a little bit of assist to just deal with the weight. So I can do 56k on that. And I've already done quite a big hill. Uh, but for this climb, I'm going to ride it in e-mountain bike. I could do it in turbo, but I don't want to spam the battery. So we're going to do it in e-mountain bike. I'm going to strap you to my helmet. 
and I'm gonna try and talk you through how sick this thing is because it's pretty nuts. So let's get this one, boys. And then when we're at the top, we're doing a super gnarly descent, so should be fun. Let's do it, boys. You let's get it. EMTB Scott Genius. Woo! Look at that speed already. So I'm just gonna try and go up at a pace where I'm not using any energy whatsoever or if I am, I'm using very minimal. This climb usually is pretty hard and it usually takes about, I'd say, 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes to climb up. But we are gonna see how long it takes us today. So let's do it. I mean, you can already see, look at the speed I'm going. I'm doing 23 kilometers-ish an hour going up this climb. Woo! Never had so much fun up the back of Alfin climbing in my life. It's nuts. It's probably taken me two minutes from that gate down there, whereas to here, it'd probably usually take me the best part of 10, maybe a little bit less. So I reckon we turbo it for this hill, you ready? That we're in turbo. Oh my God. Only problem with turbo is it absolutely spams your battery, but you wouldn't ride it everywhere in turbo anyway, unless you were just going out for a short, short uplift blast. Back onto EMTB. Oh, it's so good. Should we try a bit of off piece, boys? See what it can do, eh? Oh, yeah. Check this out. This is criminal. How am I pedaling over this so easily? Wow, it's so sick. Up into slurry. Let's see what this Eve can do. Go, Eve. Oh, look at the boost. I'm on in eco as well. Oh. Oh. Oh, she's planted. Wow. Absolutely planted. Wow, what the frigging hell. Oh, we have to down here. Oh, sugar. Oh. oh my God. I was skitting then, let me tell you. Woo! The Eve is alive. Oh my God. It's well good. Oh. She's alive. Oh. God, it's oh, he's off beast in there a bit. It's amazing. Woo! Can't believe how good this e bike is. It's insane. What? Oh my lord! Wow! It's so sick! <laughs> no way! First trap reactions. Oh my God, that was ridiculous. It was as fun coming up as it was down. And the only thing I'd say that I noticed straight away is the weight under braking. Like some of them terms I probably wouldn't have liked to hit as fast as I did, but it got sent anyway. Oh man, it's crazy. I'll tell you what, blown away. So we're gonna go down here now. I'm gonna go down here, along to Edith's, maybe meet one of the boys, social distance ride. I'm gonna hit Edith, see how good it is down there, and let's see you soon, boys. We're in Edith's now. So there's a cool little run through the woods here. You might have seen me do it the other week on my other, uh, my other bike, but let's see if I can hit the gap on the Eve. There's a gap halfway down that's a bit nuts, so see if we can get that. Let's do it. Oh, 
is so good. So pin this bike. It's ridiculous. Look at the speed I'm carrying. I'm gonna go for it. Oh, he smoked that gap. Wow. No way. It's absolutely sick. Wow, what a bike. It's so good. Yes, boys, here we are. We are on the Ebe bikes. And because we're allowed to now ride with a friend at two meters, got my good friend Anthony with us. Yo. Anthony's on his e-bike too. Pivot shuttle. Pivot shuttle. We're gonna get some absolute laps in because there's only two of us and we're both on powered bikes. So the stuff we should be able to do is endless. So challenge number one for the day is we're gonna pedal up that. And I don't know how doable it is, but we're gonna give it a go anyway. I reckon it's fully doable. Well, I might have done it yesterday, so it is definitely doable. <laughs> so let's do it. Let's get the GoPro on and enjoy this day. See you soon, boys. You. Oh, here we go. I didn't this. Oh, oh no! Oh, he's gaining. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, are you in trail? I'm in turbo. Oh my god! <laughs> this is bonkers! Look how steep that is! Oh, he's gonna tap out! No! Come on, ah! Yes! <laughs> I am knackered! Ah. I'm knackered after that! Absolutely love this thing! This pedal is usually an absolute slog and today it's absolutely mint. Oh, we're having a race. Oh, it's neck and neck. Oh, he's cut me off. <laughs> I'm only in trail mode here, so I've still got to put a bit of effort in. Oh, look at this. Let's give it some. Oh, easy. Oh, these things are sick. It's like a motorbike. So boys, thank you for tuning in to this one. This was the e-bike review and I absolutely love the thing. Definitely go and buy one if you want to get some absolute miles in and not even worry about the climbs one bit. Big ups to Dave at Cycle Addicts in Rochdale. Massively appreciate you lending me the bike for the weekend, dude, and letting me do a review on it. Always wanted to do it, so big ups for that. Leave us a like if you enjoyed the vids. Comment below on any you want to see us ride in the future and subscribe to the Summer Sea Hype if you're digging the vids, boys. Peace for now. You.